For a dream to come true, you have to wake up first. Weekend in Pharaoh is the first book in a series of novels about Michael Nicolau. In an endless quest for the secret of inner peace and happiness, he is both the hero and anti-hero, and has both good and bad qualities. The bizarre life journey of Michael Nicolau comes to its pinnacle when he meets Maria one January weekend in Faro, a picturesque coastal town in southern Portugal. Her love was so pure, so deep, so universal, expressed to the whole of creation, that directing her love to one single person often seemed to her like a limitation of feelings, like the loss of the freedom to be who she really was. In this fantasy romance, the author successfully juggles the imaginary world of dreams, living gods, and arcane magic with the real world of deceit and lies, erotic encounters, unfulfilled love, spiritual alienation, and man's eternal quest for the meaning of his existence. Many legends were made, stories written, monuments built, all witnessing the efforts of men to secure the successful voyage of their souls into the world of eternal dreams. Weekend in Pharaoh is an illuminating novel about following your heart, understanding your passions, finding your soul, and believing in something greater than yourself that makes life worth living. The only truly beautiful dreams are those we convert into reality. Everything else is just a nightmare. Truth According to Michael, the second book of the Michael Nicolau series, follows 33 years in the life of Michael Nicolau. The story takes us on the long path of Michael's soul-searching and understanding of circumstances that brought him to become a dishonored and homeless man living in the Bowery Mission, a New York City shelter. Eager to vindicate himself and his actions, he speaks about his life for hours, day after day, to a social worker in the Bowery Mission. At the same time, comic and tragic, villain and hero, Michael is wrestling with the concepts of truth, reality, hope, fate, love, and honor. In his words, truth and reality are just our personal perceptions of the things and conditions we see, hear, or feel. Likewise, the whole idea of honor is very abstract and subject to cultural interpretations. As the story unfolds, his social worker discovers many faces of Michael Nicolau, a boy that never grew up, incurable and passionate lover, master of manipulation and deception, lonely and misunderstood soul, tragic victim of his own dreams, heartless and selfish man. Which one is true and which one is false? Are they all expressions of the one and the same personality? By the end of his stay in the Bowery Mission, Michael realizes that there is a higher purpose in everything that's happened to him in life, and he goes on into fulfilling his destiny. Finally, he came to a point in life when he started believing whatever it was that he was missing must not have been of this world. Otherwise, he would have found it already. He decided to start an inner search for what he truly wanted. He wanted to understand himself in order to find peace and happiness. These are books you have to read.